Hey, what's going on, astronauts? It's Chimney Swift here, and welcome back, you guys, to Astro Near. Yep, I'm doing another video. I'm very, very excited. If you guys haven't checked out my first video, I put a video out a couple days ago titled um, "An Astro Near Getting Started Guide." So, if you're kind of starting out this game and you're lost and you don't really know what to do, your first couple steps, first things you need to do, definitely check out that video. I will put a link in the description right now uh, for that, so you guys can check that out. And make sure you guys subscribe as well, because I'll be doing some more Astro Near videos. Uh, in the future. So let's continue our little adventures here. Uh, I'm noticing that this world is pretty sweet. Uh, I have a main world that I've been doing some testing on and whatnot, and that world is rather dark. This world seems to be, I don't know, the day cycle is, seems okay. I don't know if the day cycle has changed. Maybe it's all in my head. I have absolutely no idea. But one of the cool things I just realized about this world specifically was that each one of these structures right here has one of these research capsules in the top of it. Like, look at this. There's another one up here. They're all over here. So this is huge, you guys. This is absolutely huge. And while the daytime is out right now, and while we have a solar panel, let's go ahead and research this because uh, you know researching definitely consumes power. And then at the nighttime, I will show you guys um, some stuff that we can do in order to advance our progress. So what are we gonna learn here? All right, we researched filters. So the sun, our it's not the sun, but our sun. Whatever whatever our sun is, whatever star is our sun here on this unforeseen planet is up here it's it's falling fast um let's grab another one let's see if i can can i reach this yes i'm an astronaut but i have super video game extendo reach it's amazing sold in walmart get one for christmas so hopefully i don't know these singular solar panels they are very very slow i'm hoping that we'll be able to fill this up um, again and do one more research before the sun sets. If not, we're gonna have some problems. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Almost ready. Here we go. Boom. Hit it up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the solar panel back. Another tip, little trick I want to give you guys. Um, in your first day, a couple days, if you have a solar panel and you can, if you, and you have a decent amount of power, flatten out the area around your base. It really, really helps. Uh, it makes for, like, thankfully this area has been relatively flat or is relatively flat. On my main world, which I will show you guys at some point, it just hasn't been uh, very flat at all. Now to flatten out the world, if you hold, by the way, if you hold F1, you can uh, get your your guide up here. But flattening, you just hold control um, in order to flatten things. And look at this. All right, we got lithium from that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, Astroneer updated actually, and let me bring up the patch notes. So a couple things that they added was that. They optimized the tether networks to significantly improve performance, which is awesome because I was having some issues. Um, oh, and I think I may have fixed some graphical issues that I was having in the last episode as well. So let me know how this video looks. Uh, they also said tethers now go dark when disconnected from their sources. So as you can see right here, if this was disconnected, these like are still tethered together, but the whole network is dark. So that's really, really useful. I'm really glad to know that now because look, we just reconnect it. And then the whole network has been connected. So what do we need today? Well, we still have some tethers. We've got some copper, got some laterite. Um, I think we need some more compound. We definitely need some more compound. And I think I found a bunch over this way. All right, so here we go. We've got, we've got some compound. Let's grab this. It's gonna be super useful. Compound is like always useful, always. All right, we have no power. So that's a bit tragic. We will get better things. Uh, let me see if I can make... Oh, I do have enough li enough lithium for a battery. Um, which we probably could charge... Here, let's see here. I'm gonna get... Uh, let's make another... Let's make another solar panel. Uh, or we could do a, a wind vane. Oh, we don't have an aluminum though. So let's get a solar panel. Cook up a solar panel and then we can sort of swap these in and out on this platform when we need those. Um, and then I'm gonna take this lithium that we have. And let's go ahead and make a battery. Now, I've never really used a battery, so I'm assuming they just hold it just holds extra power, obviously. But let's see here. It doesn't seem like that's gonna charge right now. Can I put this even in my like side slot over here? Hold on. Did not mean to do that with the ladder, right? Yeah, I guess I could. That's kind of that's kind of cool looking. Uh with like the, the little battery back right there in the corner. But we'll just leave it on our back for right now. We'll put our solar panel um right here. Now we have hydrazine, which is a fuel. We don't really need that yet. We we really don't need that actually for a while. So I'm gonna store that on the back 
of the, um, the habitat pod right here. There's two spots on the back as well that you can store things with. Let's suck up all this stuff. The only thing that's a little bit annoying when you're harvesting compound, obviously, is like you leave yourself a big crater. So I usually try and fill those in. Because later on when we get a vehicle, like, well, this whole area is treacherous anyway. We I can't drive across a ravine like this. We could build a bridge across if we wanted to. But, um, you know, having just random holes around your base are a little bit treacherous. And I wanted to make sure that I dug down real deep in there just to make sure that I didn't leave any compound in there. All right. So let's continue. I think we're going to need some resin as well, but I don't know. Oh, there's some right over here, actually. Perfect, yo. Let's get this. Let's get this resin. I'm looking for the sun. Sun's not up yet. Um, but let's collect some of this resin, man. This resin is very, very, very valuable to us at the moment. Oh, I did. I was seeing. Okay, do you guys see up there on the on the hill? This gold, this gold icon. That's actually a power sort of uh, well. It's basically a power well. I saw it earlier. I saw some gold and I was like, oh my gosh, there's something amazing up there. But now that I know it's just a power well. I see the arrow right there. But that is actually really, really useful. So we'll go we'll go and grab that. Now, ooh, there is a uh, pod over here. That's very important that we need to get. Is there a... Cr uh, yeah, look at that. Astronauts over here before us. They crash landed over there. So there's some loot we can get over there. I think it's just a lunar module that's over there, but I don't think you can do anything with that. Although there is like lithium or something up in there, which we will totally get at some point. All right, so let's head back. The sun is coming up. I can see the sun is coming up. This is super valuable time right now. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do. So when the sun comes up and you have power, use do stuff that needs that, you, that you know takes power or whatever. So we'll grab a couple of these balls for research out of these trees. These research trees, these beautiful research trees. Thank you so much for the research tree. All right, so let's pop this bad boy in here. And let's go ahead and throw our two solar panels. Oh, what the heck happened? Right here. Where's the other one? There we go. Both solar panels are in there charging up. And while that is going on, what I'd like to do is we're going to use some resin and we are going to make a another section um here let's go ahead how much do i have i don't have enough resin um so i need to collect more resin here but what i'd like to do where was that resin is uh we need to make a printer heroes we definitely need to make a printer the printer is the next thing that you need i think i think that's the next thing you need let me double check i have to check the resources and materials all right, so we don't have enough room in our pack for resin. Dropped out. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay. Put that there. Things are a little bit slow first here. So we got another lithium out of that. Okay. We're going to need a storage unit soon. Very, very soon, my friends. All right, I'm a busy, very busy astronaut. Very busy astronaut today. All right, let's collect this. Bring this over here. Put that resin in there. And what this is going to tell... Okay. All right. So combine those two. That's fine. So printer, we need copper. We don't have copper yet. I think what we need to do is a smelter. So let's go ahead and make this smelter. And what we'll be able to do soon is go into a cave. And with that cave, we can gather the ore that is used to make the copper. And then we can take that copper and uh smelt it down and then we yeah we'll get copper can't think obviously right now because i'm stupid and uh then we'll be able to finally build our printer which is going to be super super nice all right so here we go we got some research coming up here what are we going to get truck oh yes got the truck early that's really really good that's really really good i'm really glad very happy about that so solar panels need to hurry up Go ahead and we'll make another station over this way. We'll, we'll get ready for another station over this way. Uh, and that will be our printer right here, okay? Um, so one thing we could do real quick is... Is this still charging up? Yeah, it's still charging up. So let's go ahead and do this. Is it going to be research or is it an item? Let's find out. It is an item and it's titanium, which is a rare item. But it's not super rare because we got all these research trees, baby. All right, so... Once I send this one a go, once we finish this one, I'm going to head over to that crashed, like, rocket ship over there. 
and we'll see if there's any copper or anything in there and then we might head over there and find out what's in that as well because you definitely want to explore the little areas that um, are around here including like I should have I should go get that lunar lander as well there's some items up in there so we'll find out and see what those are all about all right let's uh see what this is all right so we have some more titanium we'll put these in these storage units for now but or the storage spots for now but eventually we'll be able to make a storage unit ladder right all right here so we could do we could do some research really quick in making aluminum so let's go ahead and research this so this is like some ore and then from that you get aluminum all right I'm gonna go ahead and move one of these solar panels over to this side so we can get a little bit of power I don't know how much it'll get total but I'm gonna take the other one with me and let's head off to this direction tether up and we will go adventure real fast over to the lunar I don't know it's not lunar but the crash rocket ship where is that it's over here there you go um, we'll put a tether that way just to remind ourselves to go get that compound because there's a whole mess of compound right here eventually when we, once we get the trade station uh, we'll be able to you know just start trading some stuff which will be great so here we go we have this pod which we need to research but also inside here if you dig down this way you'll see that attached to this old ship are some goodies so we've got two copper baby organic two copper that is huge because we needed that we don't have to go mining yet and then we have this thing called a one seat now I'm gonna leave this here We'll come grab that at a later date when we're making a vehicle, which hopefully will be very soon because vehicles are freaking sweet. Uh, but we'll take this guy back over to the research station and hopefully unlocking this at some point will give us some sort of cool something or other, man. That would be super cool. I like using the word cool. Oh, wait, no, we can do it right now. We have power. I didn't think we had power. All right, let's do this. What do we got? <sighs> Crash rocket ship. It's going to supply us with... Fuel condenser. Yo, that's actually pretty good for the trading and whatnot. Now, what we need here is we need some resin. I have a lithium dude right there. Now, let me run over. Uh-oh. Uh oh guys. This is the dangers that you have to be wary of, right? I hear it on the horizon. You can see it out here. It's a storm. So don't freak out when you're, whenever you see a storm. Storms, you can be protected by storms if if it's heading this direction and it might head this direction. Well, it looks like it's gonna head this way. Maybe. It might run straight over us actually, now that I think about it. It's sort of hard to tell. But within these storms, sometimes there are rocks and the rocks will bounce around. And if the you nope, know, it's moving away from us. If the rocks bounce around and they hit you, you can actually die from them. So it's really smart to get inside a capsule like this, your habitat capsule or uh, you can get inside a vehicle or if you just burrow like under the ground if you're in a cave or something you can just go inside the cave wall or whatever uh, but don't get hit by those rocks or you might die now dying really isn't all that detrimental you do lose what's in your inventory but you can go back to your point of death and you can go recollect that so it's not super like you don't lose everything but it can be kind of annoying uh, all right so it doesn't look like we have enough resin here Kind of struggling on resin because we we're not able to make this printer yet that being said i would at the end of this video real quick here i would like to go over this way and i want to discover what's in that all right we've got yeah two spots in our inventory so i would really 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 like discover what's over here we'll tether our way over here oh look there's more resin on the way more resin on the freaking way. Yeah, baby, that's huge. All right, let's see what's inside here. And there's compound over here too. Whew, pops open. We got some aluminum and we have some organic. All right, cool. And we got some compound. So let's collect the, some of this compound. Oh wait, I don't think I have room for it. No, I do. We got room for one. All right, there we go. So let's head back. I'm running low on oxygen. Now there are, there are certain ways to upgrade your suit things about your suit and I'll talk about I'll try if I remember I'll try and talk about that next video um, there's some really cool little tricks and fun little things that you can do to make your early experiences here before you have a vehicle uh, much much easier before you have a lot of compound and all that stuff um, you can make it much much easier 
So we'll talk about that soon. Um, so I need to find a spot to store all these things because I'm sort of running out of space. All right, no pun in no pun intended. I know it's a space game. I get it. I get it. You know, uh, <laughs> ha ha ha. I put this organic back here. We don't really need those yet, although I will use those in the next video. Um, but we will do what need is more resin. Okay. And then once we grab this resin and we make our printer, I'll call it an episode, baby. Right? Oh, there's two pockets of resin here, though. For real? Yeah. That's awesome. This is honestly, though, like one of my new favorite games. It's like I can't stop playing it even on my own time. It's it's crazy. It's so much fun. All right. So we have three resin. Let's get let's get plugged in here. Plug back into the ship. I'm gonna head back to base, and we'll just uh, we'll make this printer as the sun is coming up, and then we'll call it an episode. All right. Put that resin in there. I think we have that two copper, right? We have one copper there. Where where did I put that other one? Got both of them, right? Yeah, here we go. All right. So this is the printer. Let's go ahead and craft that. This is huge. All right, guys, or should I say astronauts? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. Look at that. Power battery has been powered up. That's another little trick. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys check back again very, very soon for another episode. Subscribe if you're new and if you want to see some more Astroneer gameplay. And uh, make sure you hit that bell as well, whether it's on your iOS app, your Android app, or uh, your your you know your PC or whatever. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button. You'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.